take a video of the strawberry plants and the yard. Paco. Here's the macadamia tree. It smells so good here. You look closely, you can see all the macadamia nuts that are pollinated. It looks like a lot were pollinated this year. But she see here this one. You could see. Paco. Paco's on my shoulder. More of the macadamia tree. I have mint and bamboo going under the macadamia tree and some begonias over there. It's my tangerine tree. I have a few tangerines left. And here's the Mexican lime tree. It has a lot of baby limes on it. Here's my strawberry planter. It's beginning to flower. My husband just planted it last week or two ago. Here's my tomato garden. Six tomato plants. And the plum tree. You probably just have one plum this year. Here's the one plum. It has a few more flowers, but that's it. Here's the Asian pear tree. It's coming back to life. And here's my, what is this? That tree is coming back to life. It's blooming when I think of it. The, what is it called? Pear guava. It's never really giving me fruit. It has a lot of flowers on it this year though. Here's my pomegranate tree, or bush. A lot of pomegranates starting. It's full of blooms. Such a beautiful plant. full of blooms. And my apricot tree, this little tree, it's about eight feet tall, ten feet tall. But it's only gonna have a little apricot, a few apricots on it. This is our second year with it. But it only has a few. They all fell with a storm we had. And here is the Haas avocado tree. It's a little tree, it's about four feet tall. See the little avocados? They're still getting pollinated. I spray honey on them every day on the blooms to get them pollinated and I even put sprigs of rosemary to attract the bees and it looks like it's working.
It's full of little avocados. See? This branch has a lot. And there's this one. This one's a Mexicola avocado. And this one has a lot of little avocados too. This one's only about three feet tall. But for its size, they had a lot of avocados. See, I put rosemary in that one too. That one. They're so cute. And this avocado tree, I think this is the Sultano avocado. It doesn't have very many, but it's still getting pollinated. Still has the flowers. But I saw some on it yesterday. The flowers are closed right now. It has a lot of flowers on it. Hopefully the next week I'll see the avocados. So this tree is like six, seven feet tall. It's small. Two years old too. And last but not least is the bacon avocado. I love this avocado. It's so big. The avocados are like five, six inches big. And I see a few avocados. Like they're starting to form. Hopefully next week they'll be able to be more visible. And here's another pomegranate bush. I cut it down this one severely because it's in the way of our shed. Over here, the duck is our nectarine tree. It has a lot of nectarines on it. White nectarine tree. It has a lot of white nectarines forming. This feet's about 10, 12 feet tall. What? See all the white nectarines? And here's our fig tree. Not doing very well. It's coming back. It almost died. Because it fell two years ago. That's why we put a chain to pick it up. Here's our guava tree. I love the trunk of the guava tree. It's so nice and smooth. A little kumquat tree. Here's our navel orange tree. It has orange baby oranges on it. So 
see all the little baby oranges on it. And I don't know if I'll be able to get through this with Paco on my shoulder, but I'll try. This is <laughs> the long gone tree. <laughs> Here. See all the flowers on the Longan tree? They're gonna be opening soon. You can see the baby flowers. Oh my gosh. It's full of flowers. Gotta show you my loqua tree. Ouch! There goes my glasses. Back across. But this is our loqua tree. This is the first year it's blooming. See the loquats? They're so good. My bird likes them. Here, Paco. See, he likes them. Eat it. Is that good? Mmm. But that's it. That's my yard. Bye.